Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm going to do a short review on word problems for the ASVAB military placement exam. I would have a notebook out in front of you with paper and pencil. I would pause the video, do the problem first, unpause the video and watch how I do them. They're actually surprisingly easy as far as operations go. However, decoding the words into the problem is the problem. So it's really as much reading comprehension as it is math. So go ahead and pause the video here, try and do that word problem, unpause and watch how I do it. Okay, Joan went shopping with 100 bucks, returned home with only 1842. So this is where we started. This is how much we came home with. How much did she spend? So it's a subtraction problem. So I have 100. 0 0.00 minus 18.42. I can't do 0 minus 42, so I got to borrow $1 from here. That's going to give me $99.00, 100 cents. 100 cents minus 42 is 58 cents. And then 99 minus 18 is 181.58. Correct answer, answer A. Problem number two, pause the video, read that problem, decode the problem, see if you figure out what they're asking, what operations you need, solve it, and then unpause the video, watch how I do it. Mark invited 10 friends to a party, so it's written out as a word. Each friend brought three guests. How many people came to the party? So I have 10 friends, and they each brought three guests. So I'm gonna be multiplying 10 times 3 is 30. Correct answer, answer C. Problem number three, a little bit, they keep adding a little bit more each time. First one's addition, second one's multiplication, and you got to decode the words to the numbers. Third one, there's going to be a lot more, more and more pieces in play. Jennifer uses her cell phone two and a half hours per day for travel business, Monday through Friday, two and a half hours per day for personal calls on Saturday and Sunday. How many minutes will she use in April, which has 30 days? So those are my key numbers. This is the key word right here. These are hours and these are minutes, so I have different units. And then the other thing, a lot of this is really just a distractor. It doesn't really matter if she's using it for business or personal calls. She is using it seven days a week for two and a half hours. So all of this, travel, business, personal, those are all distractors. They're actually not part of the problem. However, the fact that she uses it two and a half hours and I'm looking for minutes, I got to convert my hours to minutes to start with. So 2.5 hours times 60 minutes in an hour, zero, zero, placeholder. Six times five is 30, carry the three, 12, 15. So then I have one, five, zero, zero, one place over, one place over. So 150 minutes per day, right? What I've done here is converted the hours times 60 minutes to get 150 minutes per day. And then I know I'm going to multiply that by the 30 days. So I multiply that by 30 days. As I multiply these things, I could see my days cancel, and that's going to give me minutes, so my unit will be correct. Um, I could actually just do 15 times 3. I'm not going to use those zeros to the end. 15 carry the 145. So I have 45. I dropped that 0 and that 0, so i got to add them back in. So I have 4,500. My units are minutes. That's what I was looking for. Correct answer, answer D, 4,500 minutes. Okay, problem number four. Again, pause the video, do the problem, and watch how I do the problem. Make sure you mark up the problem as much as you can, really decoding and pulling out the key numbers. Mr. Wallace is writing a budget request to upgrade his personal computer. He wants to purchase a hard drive, which costs $100, to there's another number, two new software programs for $350, a color printer for $249, and an additional color cartridge for $25. What's the total amount Mr. Wallace should write on his budget? 
So this is kind of the, the, the tricky part here. I got a number two right here, and I got two of those. So I got 100 bucks for the first thing. I have two at 350. I'm actually just going to write it twice. So those are my two at 350. One at 249. One at 20. Five. I think I have them all in there. I double check, make sure I have all my pieces. And again, that's the trick right there that I need two of those 350s. Those things are all going to be added together. Zeros, 9, 9 and 5, 14. Carry the 1, 1, 5, 6, 11, 15, 16, 17. Carry the 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 5, 8, 10. So it's $1,074. Uh, look over here. There's my correct answer right there. Answer D. Colfax Math, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Uh, I really want you to start working smarter, not harder. So do a lot of practice problems. Look for the tricks in the problems. Get used to the problems before you take any standardized tests like the ASVAB. Um, and the reason why is that you got to do enough practice problems to recognize that's a trick in the problem, that you have to convert that and make sure you put two of those in. Okay, well, I sure hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.